assalamu alaikum dear students we are going to solve exercise 2c from the book t1 and the concepts involved in this are the multiplication and division involving the negative numbers so let's start our exercise in question number 1 we have to find out the value of each of the following actually these are the questions in which we have to multiply two numbers and we have to decide what would be the sign with the answer so uh, as i have solved the a part in a part we are going to multiply 3 with minus 9 and the answer is 27 and we know that the numbers are multiplied and another thing to decide what would be the sign with that 27 we will multiply as per rule that were plus minus minus so the sign with the answer is minus 27 similarly in d part we have to multiply minus 1 with minus 6 and the answer is 6 ones are 6 and minus minus plus so the sign with the answer would be a plus sign similarly in f part we have to multiply minus 6 with 0 and whenever we multiply a number with 0 we get the answer 0 and 0 is a number which do not have any sign either it is positive or negative so there will be no sign with the 0 in question number 2 we have to evaluate each of the following and actually these are the question involving the uh, division of the numbers division of the two numbers in a part we have to divide 21 minus 21 with 7 and we when we divide minus 21 with 7 we get answer 3 uh, and the sign will be minus because plus minus is minus similarly in c part they are asking us to divide minus 8 with minus 2 and first we write it in fraction form minus 8 divided by minus 2 this minus sign is cancelled with this minus and 8 is divided by 2 to get answer 4 and because two negative signs are cancelled with each other there will be no sign with the answer in e part we have to divide 15 by minus 5 and the answer will be 3 and because plus minus is minus so there will be a minus sign with the answer in question number 3 we have to find out the square root of the numbers and in a part we have to find out the square root of 81 so i have written it as the question is given and first what we have to divide is to find out different factors of 81 and i have factorized it and different factors of 81 are 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 and when we count these three there are 4 3 so 3 to raise power 4 and it is written as under the under root 3 to raise power 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 and the answer is 2 so 3 to the power 2 and the answer is 9 because 3 3 is a 9 another way to solve this question is to find out the under root if we know the number is a perfect square of any number like 81 is a perfect square of 9 so we can write it as 9 into 9 square root and 9 to the power 2 and the square is cancelled with the square root and the answer is 9 in question number 4 we have to evaluate each of the following uh, and again we have the questions of square root and in in this part uh, in this question i have solved the part c and d because these are the two part in which negative sign is involved so in c part you can see that i have first factorize it 9 is factorized 3 into 3 then i have written this it in in its index notation 3 to the power 2 square root and then the square is cancelled with the square root and the answer is minus 5 because minus is outside of the square root so it will remain with the answer similarly in d part we have to find out the square root of minus 36 and it is 36 6 to the power 2 and the square uh, and the square root is cancelled with the square and the answer is 6 now because it was inside the square root so it will be a negative sign will be cancelled and the answer will be carrying a positive sign 
In question number 5, we have to evaluate each of the following and because uh, we have to find out the cube of the numbers, so uh, we have written it as minus 2 raised power 3 and then uh, cube means the uh, number will be written in uh, 3 times and then multiplied. So, minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. And when we multiply first minus 2 with minus 2, we get the answer 4 and the uh, and the sign will be plus minus uh, minus minus plus. So, this again plus minus minus the answer will carry a negative sign. So, 2 into 2 into 2, 2 2 is 4 and 4 2 is 8 and the sign will be plus uh, minus minus plus and then again plus minus minus. So, we we can uh, we learn that if we have to find the cube of a number which is negative, the answer will also be carrying the negative sign. Similarly, in B part, we multiply minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 and get the answer minus 125. In question number 6, we have to find out the cube root of various numbers. I have solved the A part and D part. Uh, in A part, we have to find out the cube root of 27. So, I have written it in the uh, cube root form and then first when whenever we have to find out the square root or cube root, first we have to find the factors and the factors of 27 are 3 into 3 into 3. Then we have to write it in index notation and as we have, uh, we, have, we have done uh, in the square root, the power of the cube root is 1 over 3, it will be uh, multiplied in the same way, 3 is cancelled with this, so the answer will be 3. And when we have to find out the cube root of 216, similarly I have find out the factors, factors are written in index notation and then in this index notation is multiplied with the cube root power and the powers are simplified and we get the answer minus 6. So, dear students, this is the board mass rule. According to the board mass rule, B is for brackets, O is for order, D is for the division. M is for multiplication, A is for addition and S is for subtraction. This is actually a description of how uh, we have to solve these different operations during um, a mathematical statement. So, if we have all these things, all these operations in a single question, first we have to do, do the, first we have to solve the brackets, then we have to uh, solve the order then we have to multiply, then multiplication, addition and subtraction. So, this is an order how we have to do different question. So, let us uh, uh, let us start its practice uh, by solving various questions. So, in this question uh, minus 100 plus minus minus, so it will be written as minus 45, then again plus minus minus 5 and plus 20. Then I have summed up all the negative numbers as minus 150 and the, the, the next number was plus 20. And then plus minus minus, uh, I have to subtract 20 from 150 to get the answer 30. Now, because the bigger number is containing a negative sign, so the answer will carry a negative sign. Then in F part, again the same board mass rule will be applied. First, we uh, have to simplify the brackets like in this part the first in first step I have done the brackets plus minus minus 4 and the next uh, was plus minus minus and have to subtract 30, uh, 12 from 32 the answer will be 20, but this 20 will carry a positive sign because 32 is having a positive sign with this. So, after doing brackets, the next operation that I, I have to do according to the rules is to divide 20 by minus 4 and the answer is minus 5 and the lastly, we have to multiply these two number minus 25 and minus 5 and get answer 125 and the numbers are multiplied and the signs are also multiplied minus minus plus. So, 125 is carrying a positive sign with it. Then again the same rule is applied on the other parts. I have done the J and G part and uh, I am going to just explain the G part because uh, 
uh, the rules are again applied in the same and same manner. You can see first uh, I have done the brackets and uh, solve the brackets like 7, uh, 2 is subtracted from 7 and I get the answer 5 and then the order is done minus 3 to the power 2, the answer is 9 and then uh, again we have an order number 5 to the power 2. So, we have to do the power first. So, I get the answer 25, 3 into 9 minus 25 because now we have multiplication sign and the subtraction sign. So, first we have to multiply and then we have to subtract. So, multiply 3 with 9 we get 27 and lastly we have to subtract 25 from 27 to get the answer 2. So, all these operations are actually done um, by the uh, by the board mesh rule with the sequence as it is described in that rule. In question number 9, again it is the practice of what we have done earlier. You can see that uh, how I have solved this question. I would uh, recommend you to just pause this video here, solve these questions and check your answer and uh, uh, you can see uh, if you have uh, learn the concept or you need some more practice of the board mass rule. This is again the same type. Uh, again, you should pause this video here, solve these questions and uh, uh, check your answer. This is an advanced level uh, question. In this question, I have just given you the hint uh, that the answer will after solving this will be 0 0.5 and you have to find the cube root of 0 0.5 to find the answer of this question. So, this is all uh, for this lecture. Thanks for watching and keep connected for the next video. Subscribe our channel and like our video. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.